welcome to our Whoppers. We got Whoppers for you. Stick around. Something for everyone. Things that you need to know. Stuff that's happening. And the real way that it's happening. No sugar coating. And, uh, you know, keep it uh, live and positive. Look at how great that water looks today. Today, today that water looks good. Beautiful water, tropical weather. Oh, by the way, we're we're previous homeschooling homesteaders turned world travelers. <laughs> In case you didn't know yet, and uh, giving you our perspective, we call them whoppers. It's like when we're when they're talking about Ecuador, and we spent eight years in Ecuador, so we talk about Ecuador a lot. We've traveled all over. We've been to Central America, Europe, you know, Mexico. So we talk a lot about where we've been. Well, I was reading an article that said uh, they're talking in such a way about Ecuador's 15-minute cities in such a way that the peasants can relate. So they wouldn't use the term and they don't. They don't use the term 15-minute city. That's interesting. And so when they refer to these uh, concepts up there in Ecuador, they, they avoid using 15-minute cities, I'm sure intentionally, because of course the culture uh, is not a 15-minute culture. It's a totally the opposite of the... Uh, they, in other words, they, they, they tend to have, in a lot of these Latin cultures, a more balanced life where they include family life in their daily schedule let's put it that way and so they make time every day to you know have the you know people know it as siesta time but it doesn't have to be siesta but you just go home you're home you know you're home you're with your family you're resting whatever in the evenings you know people socialize that kind of thing and so they're not going to call them 15 minute cities so what do they call them they call them the cities of the future that's what they call them doesn't that sound really neat you know, life is just, uh, you know, the, the kind of uh, challenges that people have in uh, developing countries, which is the whole reason why so many of them try to go to, um, you know, North America. So, and so I'm just highlighting um, what is for the purposes of the conversation. That is to say that the globalist agenda trying to reach some of these more impoverished developing countries they're, you know, they're always talking about, or I would imagine that the way to try to reach them is to try to tell them that the future will be brighter. I've read this uh, concept uh, before about certain cultures and some cultures where the future being brighter is a big thing because, of course, the present is kind of dim. And so they use this terminology to talk about the cities of the future. And so that, uh, just to tell you that... Uh, even uh, here in Mexico, there are politicians that are actually on the trail selling the idea of uh, drone uh, tracking, uh, vehicle tracking, um, you know, and, and all the whole China dystopian thing. Uh, it's, there's actually politicians here uh, trying to sell that to the public, which is pretty amazing to me because, uh, well, uh, on to the next Whopper, which morphs from this first Whopper is that uh, the president in Mexico says that uh, uh, not to worry, don't worry about the school books uh, in Mexico. A lot of people don't realize how much is happening in these countries, which is very similar to what is happening in North America and USA. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> but a lot of people don't realize that the same things that are happening up there are also happening here. And and these parties, uh, the political party here, you're going to be blown away. So listen to this bombshell. Um, what, what we understand in North America to be the left or the liberal party, what have you, that's uh, trying to sexualize children and put the school books uh, in the schools that show uh, that teach children 
to focus on genitals and everything else and, you know, sexualizing children. Which, by the way, who would do that? Well, you know who would do that, but, uh, but what I'm getting at, the bombshell is that here in Mexico, the party that's uh, doing that is actually called con cons the Conservative Party. That's their name. I, I, I was blown away when I saw it, and you're going to be blown away, and you're going to be incredulous. You're not going to believe it. But I, I, I don't know if it was a typo. Somebody from Mexico, please correct this if I'm wrong, Ben. I don't know if the article itself printed it improperly. But that's exactly how it was written. It was, it was calling it the Conservative Party uh, at that was complaining. And, and, and it's amazing to me that these political systems and these political processes and these um, law systems and court systems would even consider an argument because there's like an argument going on all of the wording and that we normally understand is all turned upside down it's all it's all the opposite it's like the conservative party here is the liberal party uh, they're the ones trying to sexualize children now there's already been parent groups here that have protested and complained about you know they have rejected the sexualizing of their children in school so but now they're trying it again and I don't uh, and, and you know it, with a previous administration uh, prior to, to this president now but this president now is not allowing it and uh, and apparently there's some squabbles going on in the courts and I started to say what kind of a court system would even think that this is something that you would argue? I mean, is this some, like when you argue something where each side has merit, right? No, gracias. yes. You, you argue something that each side has merit. For example, if I said to you, well, I'm going to come bomb your house. Well, no, I disagree. Let's take it to court. Well, that's silly, right? You don't have a right to bomb my house. No matter what, how brilliant your argument is, you don't have that right. Uh, but, but the fact that we live during an age when court systems and political systems entertain these arguments as if they have merit, as if to say, well, let's listen to this argument, this idea that children should be, uh, you know, um, and, and I don't want to use terminology that, that they use, but they use all this uh, wonderful terminology to make it sound, uh, you know, how, uh, how progressive and how, how uh, scientific it is, you know, that children should be exposed to this sexualization and all that. And, just, and it just blows me away that, that these uh, political systems and uh, court systems would even consider listening to it. Because I'm it's not. like saying, I'm going to come bomb your house. No, I disagree. Let's take it to court. Any court should just laugh that out and go, no, sorry, we're not going to listen to that. He doesn't have a right to bomb your house, period. It's not even, we're not even going to listen to it. You can't do that. And if you threaten to do that, that's a crime. And so threatening to sexualize children, when did that, when, when did that not become a crime? I mean, when did, you know, when, when, did, when did all this stuff, and it's happening in Mexico, you know, and, and these squabbles are actually going to the court system and everything. And AMLO is, is successfully fighting this off. He is, he is pushing this off and, and fighting it off. And I'm not so sure, uh, you know, when you read these articles, they always want to make it sound like they've got all these followers, you know, and all these people, you know, that go along with this. It's like saying, well, you know, 100,000 people, um, you know, signed up uh, and, and voted uh, for, uh, for the idea that you should, you know, that he should have a right to bomb your house. Okay, well, full wash. <laughs> you know, they always want to make it sound like there's all these people lining up. But even if there were, even if there were all these people lining up, it doesn't make it right. That's the whole point. There's a right and a wrong, and you don't sexualize children, period. Period. There's no, you know, enlightened discussion that you could have, uh, you know, to make it sound as if it's a, it's a thing. It's not. Uh, but I just wanted you to know, and I don't know how many people know that this kind of thing is happening in Mexico. Let me know in the comments, did you know that this was happening in Mexico? Or did you think this was a U.S. thing? You know, the U.S., Australia, Britain, you know, the big, uh, you know, developed countries and that uh, we, we could just run off to these developing countries. Or, I don't know if developing countries is the right terminology. I don't, I don't see that that's necessarily uh, the case in a lot of these places. 
but um, but it's it's no different than uh, uh, you know using the name of the conservative party here to promote the sexualization of children in Mexico. It's no different than um, you know the po politicos saying uh, uh, you know the, the referring to these 15-minute uh, enslavement cities and calling them the, the cities of the future. Because who in a developing country doesn't want to think about a better future? You start talking about a better future and people start listening. But they have no idea. Just like the people that were lining up to get, you know, a week's worth of pay just to scan their iris on their phone, you know, and download the app and take this uh, digital uh, slave money and everything. It's the same concept. They don't really know what they're getting into. <laughs> you know. And so it is, and so it rolls, and this is how it rolls, that everything that comes from above, and I don't mean above from this all the way above, like from the heavens, that's not. Everything that comes, and maybe I shouldn't use the word above, because maybe maybe they're, they're not. Everything that is above will be debased means that these people will be debased, because they're just wrong. They're Everything right. from the top is going to be the on the top bottom. The top-down system is not, you know, and people, and it, it's, it's interesting, a lot of people come around and say things like, well, I'm a Republican and I, you know, and I do these things that the, the Bible says uh, that we should be doing, like schooling our own children and all that. Well, that's, that's lining up with the, with, with the political side, and I'm, I'm j just giving you these whoppers in the hopes that maybe people will reflect on, on this kind of idea that you you know that you think that politics is the answer. And I'm saying that it looks to me like politics is the problem and more politics is not the answer. And somebody like AMLO, AMLO here in Mexico, it's not that he's not using politics, he's he's standing for what's right, you know, right and wrong, what's right for the people. And he's protecting the people, and that's what you know serve and protect means and it it comes from within it is something that people do because they have a love of, of people and a love of neighbor and and and, and this kind of thing and so that it, 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 it just it comes from a different place and it isn't necessarily the it's not the politics you know um, the idea that lining up with uh, with with politics is necessarily the answer it's just like the political party here that's trying to sexualize children through the schools that they call themselves re Republicans here. Uh, you know, they call themselves the, the right, or their, whatever terminology that is used. I, I don't, you know, I don't go get into politics too much. Yeah, so we're in the tropics and uh, we're enjoying the beach from a <laughs> traveler's point of view. And all of these conversations, it seems to me that I know that we're in the retire early lifestyle niche, but we're we're more than that. You know, uh, we, we're looking forward and we're looking ahead, and we're saying, is this sustainable? I mean, I know that a lot of people, and this is why I, I touch on a lot of different subjects. You know, and a lot of uh, a lot of touch uh, subjects that touch this area, and that is that people are retiring and they want to go abroad and all. That. Everybody's different. Everybody's got their own ideas in life, but within the context of who we are, right, seeing what's happening in the world, which is also how what we talk about, we bring them to you as whoppers, what, you know, it's like, this isn't really sustainable. It isn't, you know, I mean, it's not part of the prepping or take cover, or, you know, protect yourself, you know, make relationships and all right so we're gonna go in the water now and uh, be back in a second